Cap Greene, spectators watch channel swimmers grease up. Hassan Abdelrahim of Egypt is a veteran with two successes. For Wanda Butahi, who comes from Israel, it's her first attempt. Bertil Vala represents Sweden in the 12 nations race. 21-year-old Eileen Fenton, Yorkshire and proud of it, is the smallest competitor. Well and truly greased, they make their way towards the start. Now they're all under starters' orders. The course is very wet, but that should favour genuine stayers. They're all in line, any minute now. And they're off. Roger Le of France gets away to a good start. He's trained by Georges Michel, the channel speed record holder. Youngest trier is 17-year-old Margaret Feather. The first Scot and the oldest man to succeed, Dr Barney, finished fifth. By dawn, the armada of boats and swimmers was well on its way, with Le Morvan swimming strongly and leading all the way. Jenny Camascourt is swimming well. She is one of the successful nine. After ten hours, Eileen Fenton is swimming with a strained shoulder. A few hundred yards from success, Abdel Rahim spurts spectacularly past Le Morvan and robs the Frenchman of the Daily Mail thousand pound check for the first man across. Both beat Georges Michel's record time. Forty-one-year-old father of six, Rahim is an officer in the Egyptian army. Sam Rocket, fourth, makes the third British success. Most popular British success is Eileen Fenton. First woman across, she also wins a thousand pounds, her grand victory due to sheer courage. Exhausted after having landed, she was carried ashore. And here comes the conquering Hassan Abdel Rahim, looking fresh enough to swim back to France right away. And now we give you his own dramatic story of his race across. Thank you. And to end, here is Eileen, freshened up after swimming for nearly 16 hours. I was very pleased to have uh, won this race, naturally. Uh, and I set out to do an ordinary job and I managed to do it quite successfully with the help of my trainer, Mr. Betts. How do you feel now, Eileen? Well, I feel fine, thanks. Uh, I've uh, bruised my shoulder a little bit, but otherwise I'm perfectly clear. Mm. Well, all I can say is that she's done a, a real good job, a real good job. She's done more than I expected of her, and I'm very proud of her. 